everyone, welcome back to my book reviews today. We are talking about this book by Lisa C called The Island of Sea Women. Oh my gosh, I could not wait. Couldn't wait to read this book, okay? It's already on the New York Times bestseller. It went there right away. I love her so much. I'm gonna put the interview um, that I did on her last book below so you can watch that. I did not have a chance to talk to her this time. Maybe I still will, but she's kind of out on book tour and a little busy, but I had to put this review out. 384 pages, historical fiction. You know, when I saw, I went back and I'm like, that was only 384 pages. Lisa packs so much into historical fiction. I learned, I felt like I read an entire like textbook with the best story ever. Like if they would have taught us history, like Lisa writes, okay, I would have been taking every history class I could have. Um, and I've read so many of her books and I'm telling you, nobody does uh, her research. Nobody does their research like Lisa, okay? We're talking this time about the Korean island of Jeju. And I know I'm saying it wrong, but I looked it up and I'm gonna show you on screen where that island is off of South Korea. Um, this book is about two women divers. These women would learn how to dive from, I mean, the whole story is about these women divers who learn from their moms and I did a little bit of research into it, even though the book really does tell you almost everything you want to know about it. But what I found out from the research is they will dive 60 feet, okay, and stay underwater for two to three minutes. And if you don't think that's long, try holding your breath for that long, not being in water, okay? It is long. But this story is about Mija and I am butchering these names, so don't even criticize me on these names because my Pennsylvania Dutch accent does not do names well. Young Sook and Mija, they are best friends. Nobody does friendship stories like Lisa. Oh my gosh, these women, uh, so emotional, okay? So, so emotional. Um, they, when they go diving down, one of their main things, I mean, they get octopus and they get all kinds of, um, little like clams, but they're not clams, but there's little shell animals. And then they get abalone. And you'll see on the cover, I'm going to show you this cover while I'm talking to you. They have an instrument and maybe I can find a picture of this instrument. And what they do is they pick those abalone off rocks underwater. Okay. And if the abalone attach themselves to that rock, I mean, attach themselves to the rock with the knife underneath it, they die because they can't get up because those knives are attached to their bodies and they can't get them off. I'm just gonna let you pause and think about this for a minute because these are some badass women, okay? Oh God. So this book is about friendship and it's about forgiveness. Oh my gosh. I She had me so thinking about people in my life that you hold on to unforgiveness and you think you have a right to and you think it's, doing you good and you think you're you're like you have a good reason okay and they had a lot of good reasons uh you know family and okay and this book takes place that's another thing she goes through the 40s the 50s the 60s the 70s present time covers it all so beautifully as you can tell i can't say enough good things about this book i really can't like you have to go get it. Look at the cover. It's absolutely beautiful. I love Lisa so much. Her first line, um, she says, she always writes is the last line of the book. And it's not a giveaway. It's a breath, a breath, a breath. Uh, because you know why? Because when they go diving, they take three short breaths. And on the fourth breath, they go under. And it's... I can't, oh my gosh, I can tear up talking about this book, okay? There is a reason it's on the New York Times bestseller. Go get it, okay? If you love historical fiction, go get it. If you read this book, you're going to want to go read all of Lisa's books because they are all this amazing. And um, I am so happy I read it. And I love you, Lisa, if you're watching this. I hope we get to talk again. You are amazing. And I can't wait to see what you write next because... I, I don't know. It's like the last book I read. I'm like, that is the best one. Then I read this book. I'm like, no, this is her best book. Okay. So I'm going to tell you this is her best book, but I know the next one I'm going to love just as much. 
So if you love my book reviews, hit like. I love reading books, as you can tell, and I love reviewing them for everybody, and I can't wait to see what this book does. So thanks, and have a great day, everyone.